This has me really excited. The Breakthrough Cancer Program has the potential, not for out specifically, but overall, to be a half billion dollar project. Let me repeat that, half billion, 500 million dollar project. And that $500 million was going to be focused just on four cancers. And those four cancers were going to be cancers. I'm going to have to find my notes here, but they were going to be cancers that basically didn't have good treatments at the moment. The people went downhill really quickly with them and no, the research hasn't gotten them anywhere. And so they were going to focus on those four cancers. Well, our cancer does not fit into that. Uh, we have made huge strides and have definitely been advancing our outcomes. So how did ALK get into the Breakthrough Cancer Program? Dr. Tyler Jacks was the mentor for Dr. Shaw. He was the person that trained and motivated and excited Dr. Shaw. So he's at the pinnacle. And it's pretty fair to describe Dr. Tyler Jacks as a genius. And I'm going to read out a few facts here about him that are going to make you realize just how brilliant he is. There's a listing of world university rankings that listed the top 2,000 universities out of 21,000 universities. So we're looking at a list of 21,000 universities. The top two, the top two are Harvard University and MIT. And they are the two universities that Dr. Tyler Jacks was at. And he was magna cum laude in biology at Harvard, the number one university in the world. He was magna cum laude. That means that he was the top student. Think about that. So then, that was in 1983. In 1992, he became an assistant professor at MIT. And he became a member of the MIT Center for Cancer Research. By nine years later, he was director of the MIT Center for Cancer Research. And then he remained in that role for the next 20 years at the number two university in the world, director of their cancer research program. In 2021, he stepped down as director to take on the role of president at Breakthrough Cancer. So, He's got a huge lab. He's got the most brilliant minds helping him, and that's his lab. So his lab has developed genetically engineered mouse models of various human tumor syndromes and cancer types, including lung adenocarcinoma, which is what ALK is. And these have been used to examine the mechanism of tumor initiation and progression to uncover the molecular, genetic, and biochemical relationship to our diseases and to explore methods for imaging and early detection of cancer, which is so critical. His laboratory has extensively studied human tumor derived cells, determined the protein function in these cells, and related the gene expression patterns in human cancers to their studies in mouse models. In recent years, his lab has moved into the area of tumor immunology and is utilizing mouse models to understand the interactions between the immune system and cancer. And in particular, his lab has developed a mouse model for lung adenocarcinoma. And these models offer a unique platform for investigating how the immune responses shape tumor gene expression, and importantly, how tumor evasion mechanisms contribute to the development of advanced disease. So now they're testing immunotherapeutics as single agents and in combinations with targeted therapies, which is what we have. Needless to say, he's received numerous awards and honors for his contributions. 
but amongst the highlights are that he is has served as chair of the National Cancer Advisory Board at the National Cancer Institute, and he's also served as president of the American Association for Cancer Research. So we're talking about the best of the best. He's also currently serving on a panel for the National Cancer Moonshot Initiative, which is uh, a National Cancer Advisory Board for the uh, task force that uh, is looking to try to cure cancer through federal funding. And then the doctors that he's put together so far, a doctor award who we funded with our research, Dr. Gaynor, who we funded with our research, Dr. Harder, who's been a part of uh, the NGH group that we've had so much of our research going on with, Dr. Lin, who was the successor to Dr. Shaw, Dr. Lamb, who's uh, been an applicant to the grant reviews that we issue, but has also attended the ELK summits. Dr. Lovely, who's attended our ELK summits. Dr. Kiali, who's been a recipient of uh, one of our grants. Dr. Kamage, who's attended numerous of our summits and has been a great friend to our community. And his colleague, Dr. Schenk, uh, who's also attended the summit. Dr. Byers, who actually helped us reviewing grants uh, is one of the people. Uh, Dr. Ellerman and Dr. Haymack at MDA uh, also are on that group. So just a who's who of the very, very top people in our research. So um, that's the Breakthrough Cancer Organization being led by Dr. Tyler Jacks. Uh, absolutely amazing here because th 